Hey everyone, I'm Ed. Just wanted to thank you, first of all, for all the positive, wonderful responses I've gotten to the past couple of videos. I really appreciate it and I'm glad you guys are finding these helpful. So because of your comments, I'm gonna continue doing them and I hope it helps. Um, real quick though, I've been starting to get some requests for future videos. Perfect, please keep those coming. I have a running list of things I wanna do. I'm trying to keep it to about two a week so nobody's overwhelmed, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, moving on today. Uh, the next rudiment I'm gonna do is called the 25 stroke roll. I've already done the seven stroke roll and the 13 stroke roll. This is a continuation of the same idea. On the seven stroke roll, we had one triplet, you know, triplet and 13 stroke roll was two triplets, triplet, triplet three, follow the yellow brick road. If that's not still stuck in your head. So the next step is the 25 stroke roll, which is gonna be four triplets. Same idea as we just did on the seven and the 13, just twice as long as the 13. So twice as many triplets, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna do four triplets. Watch the first time, ready, go. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplets, stop. Again, ready, go. Again, ready, go. One more time, ready, go. Okay, that's the basic rhythm. Now we change all of the triplets, except for the final tap, to buzzes. And if you watch the previous videos, you're, you'll remember each buzz counts for two. So if I count two, four, six, eight, all the way through, then I get to the last tap, we'll mix it 25. So if there's four triplets, four times three is 12, times two for each buzz is 24, plus the last tap is 25. No more math, promise. Here we go, ready, go. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, boom. Again, ready, go. Again, ready, go. One more, ready, set. Now, some of you are thinking, that's a really long roll, why do I need that? If you're paying attention, when anybody starts um, the band, anybody starts a solo, almost always we have a roll off. Those two big long rolls at the beginning, that's what they are. It's not just a guess, we're not just you know, starting and hoping we all stop together. We're actually all playing triplets. So if you can do that correctly, shouldn't be a problem to start and end those together if you're all thinking the same way. I've been in more than one situation where people weren't thinking the same way and it was a, a crapshoot. We all want to start and end together. Okay, so if you see it written, I'm going to show you two ways that they're written and they're both correct. One way starts with a half note. So this is worth two beats. This note contains all of the buzzes and here's your final tap. Sometimes we'll tie together two quarter notes. So again, a quarter note plus a quarter note equals a half note, and the entire roll is taken up right there. So again, screenshot if you need to. I'll also put it down below, but this is what 25 stroke rolls look like when they're in the music. Now, we don't usually write them out for the roll off, just understood. So let me play a couple roll offs for you. Similar to the last time, get your set up. We're gonna leave the buzz on the drum a long time. Don't kill it, just let the buzz last a long time and overlap it. So you have one smooth sound. Typically you'll hear some kind of variation of by the right, quick, march. That's the tempo. It's like one, two, ready, go. Quick, march. One, two, ready, go. All the same thing. Everybody has their own variation on it. Let's try it. By the right, quick, march. Okay, try to make them as smooth as you can. Make them the same volume all the way through. If you try to get too loud, people tend to get open. 
try just to smooth it out and keep it the exact same all the way through. Okay, I'll do it one more time. Think triplets. And if you can't think triplets, if you remember the earworm from last time, follow the yellow brick road. Pretend the record skipped or you stuttered. Follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick road. Do it twice. Follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick road. Okay, one more roll off. Ready for the right, quick, march. And then whatever comes next in the tune. That is your first impression musically on your audience, no matter what you're playing for. And I, I know this video is going a little bit longer than the last one, but I feel I need to say this. Whenever you hear people singing the roll off, okay, drummers, let's go. You know, quick march, and they say, they're singing really bad rolls. If you hear anybody, that is incorrect. You're making an error. Please don't ever start a roll or any variation of that. If we want an emphasis at the start of a roll, we have another way to do that, and I will do that in a future video. So try to ease in. Another good example of how to do it right, ripping paper. Make your roll sound like that. Okay, I will see you next time.